Where did I put? Wait, where'd you guys come from? The sky? Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, because of those transitions from the Apart But United series. Right. Uh, today's video, I'll show you how to do that. Just, just come with me. Hello, my name's Josh Shirley, and on this channel, I make tutorials, reviews, unboxings, and other creative things, and just generally anything I feel like making. One of which being the Apart But United series of which this transition debuted. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that transition. So. Let's head on over to our computer. So first things first, you're going to need to go to earth.google.com slash studio, and that will prompt you to log into your Gmail. And I'm going to use an email I haven't used yet. Once you sign in, you will be prompted with a page that looks like this, and you'll just simply put in your first and last name, your company and or, or organization. I honestly just put YouTube industry, personal, actually no, I forgot they have YouTube creator. How will you use Earth Studio? YouTube. <laughs> and hit submit and then you will have to wait for them to get back to you and they will send you an email saying that you can now use this tool. I've already done this twice now. <laughs> once for actually making the Apart But United series and once for a failed recording but we don't need to talk about that. So once you have been given permission you can open up a old project or import an .esp file or you can create a blank project. I'm just going to create a blank project. I'm going to give the project a title, choose Earth out of Earth, Moon or Mars. And then for the dimensions, I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio because I need this to be a 3840 by 1920 aspect ratio and this will all make sense really soon. So I want my transition time to be roughly five seconds at 24 frames a second. So 24 times five is 120. Somehow by the time we bring this into Premiere, it's not five seconds. It might be a setting that I don't have or I don't know what actually happens, but anyway. So I'm sure there will be people who correct me in the comments, but this is how I did it and it worked and that's all that matters. So 3840 by 1920 and I'll explain that once we get this into Premiere. Duration 120 for roughly five seconds at 24 frames a second because that's the frame rate that everyone films at for cinematic stuff. Select start. So first we need to select some attributes. I want to select field of view. I want to select clouds, ocean, why not, and 3D buildings. Click done. So now we can search for where we want to start. I'm going to pick Nick Bryant, who is the person editing the newest video, uh, or in this case has edited the newest installment of Apart But United. And if you haven't seen the series yet, you can check out the link to the playlist in the description. So he lives around Bolton, Manchester. So I'm just going to start there, maybe zoom out a little bit and just pick a spot. So now we are going to create a keyframe. Then we're going to come all the way to the end and pick our next creator. So for my sake, it's just going to be me. There I is going to create a keyframe. Now I'm going to come halfway through. So half of 120 is 60. So now over here, I can just zoom out just a little bit, just enough to be visually interesting. And I'm gonna zoom out all this way for the cloud effect. Honestly, if I were actually to use this for the video, I would probably just stay around here, but that's not as interesting as say out here. And again, add a keyframe. Then if you wanted to mess with the keyframes a little bit, you can choose how it bends, but we just I just want a simple curve and that looks fine to me. From here, we can select render and then we will export it as 3840 by 1920 and we will want our copyright Google Earth in any of the four corners. We do not want it in the bottom center or top center. And I will show why, and it has everything to do with this aspect ratio. Some of you might already know where I'm going with this. In the advanced tab, you can add 3D tracking data if you were to bring this into After Effects, of which I am not. Map style everything because I liked the idea of people being able to stare at the globe and be like, oh, I'm roughly around there. Oh, that's cool. Otherwise you could choose like exploration, 
which has like, I think a little bit less, I'm not really sure, or clean, which doesn't give you any of the cities and stuff. So I'm just gonna select everything, texture quality, high, and then select start. And this is what took this video the longest time to make because I had to sit here and wait for this to render. While this is rendering, you cannot open up a new tab because otherwise this stops and you can't really do much else because it will slow down the rendering of this. That's my little note on that and now we wait. All right, so once it's done, I'm just going to drag it on to my desktop for easier finding and it will download as a zip file, unzip it, and then in this folder, you will find your footage, which is actually a whole lot of images and then some other files I have no idea what to do with. So that's where we deal with the rest of this in Premiere. What you'll want to do is import your folder, import this folder, then in this folder, I'm going to select the first one, just come all the way down to the bottom, hold down shift and click then right click on these and select speed duration. And we want all of these to be one second long. Hit okay. Then going to right click on these and we want new sequence from clip. So as you can see, here is our 38, 40 by 19, 20 aspect ratio. And that's all we need to do is if we scroll through it, that is our transition. Then we can come back to our main timeline. Then we just need to drag this sequence into our timeline. Now, I typically would separate these because I don't need, there's no audio to this. Now, as you'll see, our main video is our normal 1920 by 1080. If we were to scale this out to 50%, now you see our Google Earth logo and we have black bars across the top and bottom because our aspect ratios are not the same. What I typically did with our footage was I scaled it to roughly 83%. Why 83? Because if I do 80, you can still see a little bit of the Google Earth logo in the corner right here. So 83 is what was the magic number I found that I was able to get rid of that. So I need to take the first and last images, but I'm gonna take the first image of this sequence, put it at the very beginning and take the last image and put it at the very end. However, what I do need to do with each of these is make them last for about five frames worth. So one, two, three, four, five. You could do a little bit longer. This is just the amount of time I chose and ditto for the other image. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna throw this image of myself underneath the whole thing for a point of reference. But on the first image, I'm going to create a mask. Then we need to invert the mask and feather it a bunch. I just did it until it felt right. I'm also going to change our work area, be roughly roughly 25% because it will give us enough space to work outside of the frame as well as inside the frame. I'm going to come to the beginning of the clip, make sure mask is selected. Then I'm going to hover around the either of the dots until you get this little curved arrow thing. I'm going to press and hold shift and just drag it out until it fills up the frame. Then create a mask path keyframe and drag it that all the way to the beginning. Then we're gonna to come to the end and again, select our mask, press and hold shift and drag it all the way to the center until we can't see it anymore. So the idea is that we are pushing out from where our first creator is and going around the globe to the next location. So we basically need to do the reverse of that on our next image. So again, select our image, create a circle mask, invert it, feather it a bunch until it feels about right. So at the beginning, we will need to make our mask really small. And if you wanted to work in reverse so that it's easier, that's totally fine. Create a keyframe, drag it to the very beginning, come to the end of the clip, select mask, hold shift, and expand it until it fills the frame and then bring it to the end of our clip. So now what you should have is something that looks like a push out from one city and we go across the globe 
and then we zoom in on our next location. And if you totally get your keyframes mixed up like I did during my actual editing phase, you can literally just move your keyframes and you don't need to redo anything. There were some slightly more complicated edits for my end clip because I did have to create a mask around the globe to eliminate the Google Earth logo that would ultimately show up because I needed the entirety of the globe. And then just changed the opacity to change it to the logo. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and I will link the playlist to the Apart But United docuseries right over here as well as in the description. And I will see you guys next time.